Hey, it's Sam Hendrick, Bentley Systems, back again. We're continuing in the series on MicroStation Connect Edition, The Basics. This is the seventh video in the series of 10. Congratulations again on making it this far. You only got three more to go after this. In this video, what we're gonna talk about are some of our modify tools. We're gonna to talk about the modify element tool. We're gonna to talk about how to change the attributes of an element, and your plus one is gonna be how to match change Kind of like properties in AutoCAD. If you're an AutoCAD user, making the transition. So the last thing we'll talk about is the trim multiple and that'll wrap it up for that video. Let's go ahead, get started. In this video, we're gonna be talking about three tools. The modify element tool, change element attributes in the trim multiple tool. The first one we're gonna talk about is modify element. So let's go ahead and open up this first file, modify element. Now I'm currently in the drawing workflow and my tab is set to home. On the Home tab, there's a group called Modify. First icon is Modify Element. That's what I'm gonna work with right now. I'm gonna click on it. Now, where you pick on an element determines how you modify that element. As an example, if I wanted to change or add the length to this shape here, if I data left click in the midpoint there and move my cursor out, you can see that I'm modifying the entire length here. Now I'm moving it out orthographic, I can move it off axis, probably won't wanna do that, so I'm gonna move it out to the right, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in colon four, and make it four inches, data. And you'll see the dimension up above updates also, because these are associative dimensioning. Now, if I went to the side here, this segment, and I do a data, you're gonna notice the AccuDraw compass rotates to match the angle. I wanna rotate the compass to the top orientation because I wanna move it relative to the top. So I'm gonna hit T for top. That rotates my compass. Now I can move this over to the side and it remembers the last value of four inches. So I'm just gonna accept that. And there it's added four inches, makes it one foot. I can also modify circles. So if I pick the edge of the circle, now the compass, AccuDraw compass, goes to the center point and I see on my AccuDraw window at the bottom, it shows me two inches. So that shows me the current diameter. So I'm gonna move my cursor to the right and I'm gonna type in colon four, making it a four inch circle. And when I do a data, you're going to notice that the leader line going up to the top where it says R two inches changes to four. Now. This is modifying some shapes, circles, a complex shape. Let's see what happens when we modify dimension. So if I'm gonna take this dimension up above, where I pick on the dimension determines how I modify it. If I pick here on this line and I do a data, you can see I can change the length or where the position of that dimension is located as I move it up. If I pick on the text, then I can move the text around on the dimension. And for the radial dimension here, if I pick the text, you can see I can dynamically move this everywhere because it's associative. So that's the modify element tool. That's just the basics there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next file. So we're gonna to go to file open. The next file will be O2 change element. This example, we're gonna see how we can change the attributes of existing elements. On the left-hand side, we have a shape that has the correct attributes. On the right, we need to change the attributes of the elements to look like the elements on the left side. So the tool we're gonna to be using is on the Modify Toolbox. Looks like an artist color palette. It's called Change Attributes. And this is the Tool Settings window. And you can see I have options to change level, color, style, weight. If I have these items checked, then that means I will be changing those attributes of the element. If I wanted to change these attributes, then I would check the boxes. In this example, what I'm gonna show you is how to change just the weight and the line style of an element. So I'm gonna uncheck level and uncheck color, and I'm gonna have my style here change to zero, and my weight, I'm gonna change this to two. Now, those are the only two things I have checked, so that means that's the only two things I'm changing. So if I pick this shape here, you can see I've changed it. Now, I could also change its color if I wanted to. Come over here, choose my color, pick it, and I can change the color also. 
On the tool settings window, there's a little eyedropper up here in the upper right corner. I'm gonna demonstrate how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the tool settings window over here so that it's right there in the middle so we can see what's happening. Right now, I need to change on the right the center lines for the two circles. They need to look like the element on the left. Now, I don't know what the attributes are exactly on the element on the left, but I know these need to look like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check everything, level, color, style, and weight. I'm going to select the match element attributes eyedropper icon. And when I do that, for that moment, I'm not changing an element, I'm matching it. So I'm gonna click on the eyedropper, watch the settings here on the tool settings window when I do a data on this center line. See all the attributes changed? Now I'm no longer matching, I'm back to change. So now I can just click on these elements and I can make the changes there. So that's changing elements to the attributes you know or using the match attributes icon, the eyedropper, and matching the attributes of an element and then immediately changing it. So now let's go to the next file. So let's go to file open. The next and final one will be trim element. Now we have a proposed wall aesthetics here. On the left, this is the after state, and on the right is the before state. So you can see these vertical lines need to be trimmed up. They need to be extended here up to this line string, and they also need to be trimmed down here to the bottom of this shape. So the tool we're gonna to be using, again, is on the modify group. It's called Trim Multiple. Now when I choose this tool, on the tool settings window, we have three possible choices. We have Trim, and extend, which it'll do both. We have just trim or we have just extend. Well, these vertical lines not only need to be extended, but they also need to be trimmed. So we're gonna be choosing the first icon. Now I need to select both the elements that I'm going to trim to and then I'm gonna to cut to. And that's gonna be done by holding the left button down, dragging across these two elements. So now you see they're highlighted red. Now what I need to do is I need to tell it the elements that I plan to extend and or trim. I could trim them and then extend, or I could extend and then trim. The order doesn't matter. What I do need to do is tell it if I pick this end of these lines, I'm indicating that I want it to be extended to this line. If I was to choose down here, the vertical lines, then it would trim. So I'm gonna do a dragging line, hold the left button down, gonna do my best to get all of these elements making sure I don't cross the blue ones, release. And you can see I missed one because it was a bit too short. I can just left click or data to pick that up. Now to trim off, I hold the left button down, drag across, release, and I've done that. Now I hit reset, right button, and that part of my job is done. Now I need to trim the vertical lines out from inside the blue shapes. So this time we're just gonna be trimming, so I don't wanna be extending or confusing it, so I'll choose trim although technically I could have used the trim and extend. Now I'm gonna zoom in to see this one here a bit. Now I need to choose all three of those blue shapes. So I'm going to hold the left button down. I can easily cross over the two blue shapes there. They're selected. Now to pick up the third one, I'm gonna hold the control key down on my keyboard, hold the left button down, drag across and select it. Now that I've got all three of them selected, now it's time to tell it what I wanna trim. I'm gonna go inside the first box here, hold the left button down, drag across, trimmed. Repeat it right here, drag across, trimmed. Now to do the final one, I'm gonna start here, hold the left button down, extend across, trim, reset, and now the two look the same. So hopefully you found this helpful and these tools can do a whole lot more, but you gotta get started someplace. So we'll see you in the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.